nicely done by Walker to find Pierce. Clough dropping deep again, but Everton well aware of that, and they've got Cotty on a run through the centre here. It's Tony Cotty for Everton. Starting a match at Wembley for the first time. And it's only taken him eight minutes to make his mark. He came here in 1980 as a West Ham supporter and stood behind the goal into which he's now scored a very important goal for Everton. Well, Tony Cotty has put Nottingham Forest at least in a familiar position. They were a goal down, of course, to Luton in the Littlewoods Cup final. Here's Laws. Webb. Ratcliffe is quick enough, but Webb did enough pressing to make Kevin Ratcliffe have the final touch. And to give Forrest the corner. Chapman. Parker! One one and Gary Parker, whose first goal for Nottingham Forest was against Everton at the turn of the year, and really from that point on he's been collecting them with great regularity. And he was in the right spot, although it took a couple of deflections along the way to pull Nottingham Forest level here. Southall got to it, but couldn't keep it out. Well, Parker's ratio of goals better than one in three. And uh, Southall, as you could see there, did get a hand to it. Sheedy. And Sharp, will he reach it? He will! A very spectacular strike. Impassive, the Everton manager. But it's the same problem for Nottingham Forest. The ball looped in behind their back line and an Everton boot first to it. And the boot belonging to Sharp made superb contact. It flashed past Steve Sutton. Parker. Here's Webb. Clough. It'll run for Wilson. Sheedy. Very encouraging for Everton for their return here on May the 20th. Whether it will be against Forrest remains to be seen. Vanden Howe. A corner for Colin Harvey's team. They're again showing that cup football is to their liking when they've been less successful in league matches. But they're not home yet in this one. They might be now, but somehow Walker is able to get the ball away and Forrest really can spring on here. This is Parker. Gainer up with him. And Clough, but Parker's going all the way himself. It's a terrific goal. A wonderful run. A second ago, Everton were on the Forest line, but we know that Brian Clough's team is geared to counter-attack. But how often do you see a goal like that? Especially in a final. Well, Parker was considering one or two other options here until he realised that the goal was there for the taking if he went on, which he did, and threaded it under Southall. Cotty. Played through by Nevin. Cotty, who really likes to take shots early like that when he's on the run. It was fed into his stride, and it was an excellent effort, and well held by Sutton. Oh, and Webb, 
Now this is Stephen Webb and Walker got in a tangle. Stephen. And Webb and Walker will be mightily relieved. But Steve Sutton was able to pluck the ball out of the air. Maybe weariness a factor now. But Des Walker was able to recover for Forrest. Although Stephen did hook it back across. Chapman. He can put Forrest in front here and he's done it. They lead for the first time in this final. Two minutes into extra time. Southall came out, and Jackman, calm as you like, flipped it over him. But at the heart of the Forest third goal, Nigel Clough, with a brilliant pass that opened up Everton for Lee Chapman. Got it. Nevin slipped the pass in to Bracewell. Sheedy, and now Van den Howe, and it's Forrest turn to back pedal. Nevin will keep it in play. It's a fine cross, Cutty! <laughs> Everton are back in it again. Well retrieved by Nevin, delightfully delivered over Wilson. And Cotty placed the header to perfection. Well, Everton fans haven't yet seen the very best of Tony Cotty. But 18 goals is a very useful return in his first season with them. <laughs> and if you ever wondered whether this competition was being taken seriously, that expression gave you the answer. Look at that. Wilson only scuffs it as far as Sheedy. And Sharp and Sutton against the bar. My word. Steve Sutton looks skywards and thanks some divine help perhaps Sutton did very well to stop Sharp shot or push it up onto the bar and then as Cotty followed in Sutton somehow stopped his momentum and you thought he must carry the ball in but he didn't <laughs> Webb and Carr is onside with a clear run at goal Chapman Does that mean the Synod Cup for Nottingham Forest? It should do. And Chapman joins the list of two goal men in this match. Everton making a marvellous contribution to an excellent final but tasting disappointment at Wembley. It's an experience that will be repeated three weeks later.